This episode is brought to you by the Bowers & Wilkins PX7 S2 wireless headphones. Hear what your music really sounds like. What is 2022's best looking hi-fi product? I think it's important that we ask this question because what we buy, what we choose to live with, isn't just based upon its sound, isn't only based upon its sound quality. How a piece of hi-fi gear looks is really, really important to us and I think it's very personal, especially with loudspeakers like the Bukart A700 that you see behind me. They're big loudspeakers. We have to look at them all of the time, especially if they're permanently in place in our lounge rooms, which they usually are. So obviously we can't tuck our loudspeakers away out of sight. In the case of these book arts, they're actives, the amps are inside, but equally the pre-amplifier that I have driving them, a Cambridge Edge NQ pre-amplifier, it's a big unit, it's in the rack over here. I can't tuck that away out of sight either. That's also on display. I also have to look at it constantly. Thankfully, it's a very attractive piece, but that's again, a very personal judgment by me. But the point is, is that the way the hi-fi gear looks is almost, I think, almost as important as how it sounds. Now, in order to reach the most number of people possible for me in asking the question, what is the best looking piece of hi-fi gear of 2022? Then really it has to be YouTube because that's where most of my audience lies. Not all of it, because I have a website and I have a podcast, but most of you are here on YouTube. But I didn't want to create a very open-ended video, like give a bunch of suggestions and then have you sound off in the comments below, because that would just kind of just scatter the conversation with tens, maybe hundreds of different possibilities. So I didn't want my question to be open-ended, and instead I thought the best way to do this is via a community page poll. Now the problem with YouTube polls where you can put pictures in them is that YouTube only allows for four options. So I would need to come up with a short list of four options for you people to vote on. So I started over on Patreon and I asked an open-ended question, you know, what do you think is the best looking piece of hi-fi gear to be released in 2022? And I really did underscore released in 2022. And I guess I, I think as per our conversation about the Wim Pro, I would let through products that were released or announced at the very end of 2021. So really the majority of a product's first year would have been this year. Now by far the number one suggestion from my patrons was the Mission 770 loudspeaker. So this is a bit of a throwback speaker designed by Peter Como for Mission. We did speak to Peter Como and I did a fairly extensive review on this loudspeaker. I'll put a link below. But essentially, it's a Mission 770 that's designed to look like the original, but feature modern driver technology, modern crossover technology. But because this is a throwback speaker, I think this really appeals visually to a lot of people. I know it does me, although I know some people don't like the Mission logo slapped across the front when you've got the grills off. And really grills off, I think, is the way to go with these loudspeakers. But I guess I was a little bit unsurprised that most people on my Patreon would suggest the Mission 770. What did surprise me was that the second most suggested option in that conversation was the KEF LS60 wireless, which is a very, very modern looking loudspeaker. It's tall, it's slender, it has a very narrow front baffle. And it's what I call a FutureFi speaker because it's a streaming active. Everything's inside. It's essentially a hi-fi system in a box and a very high-end one at that. And it has all the possible streaming inputs you could possibly want. It's got Tidal Connect, Spotify Connect, AirPlay, Chromecast, Rune Ready, Bluetooth, and then a great app, an app that is really uh, very much Sonos grade. And I mentioned that app because it's also as nice to look at as the loudspeakers themselves. Well, possibly almost. I realized that again, like the mission, the KEFs aren't going to be to everybody's tastes. Now at this point, you might be wondering why I didn't suggest that Audio-Technica 60th anniversary table made of acrylic that I made a, a news video about, what, about a month ago? And the reason I didn't want to put a turntable in my shortlist of four, because remember we're going for a shortlist of four, the reason I didn't want to go for a turntable is because really here on YouTube and also out in the wider world, Final playback is still very much 
a niche concern, as is CD playback. And if you dig hard enough into physical format sales in the USA and Europe, you will find that CDs still outsell vinyl records pretty comfortably in pretty much all territories. But even with that in mind, I still think that CD playback is a niche concern. And I guess also CDs kind of more modern cousin streaming DACs, that's also a niche concern. So I didn't want to have CD players or streaming DACs in my short list of four. So having seen the mission on Patreon, or been suggested the mission by my patrons and the KEF, I thought, yeah, this is good because I've got a fairly vintage or mid-century modern styled loudspeaker. I've got a very future-facing styled loudspeaker. And really loudspeakers are the most popular item to talk about here on YouTube. And the second is amplifiers. So really loudspeakers and amplifiers are the meat and potatoes, I think, of the hi-fi conversation, at least here on YouTube. So that's why I decided at that point that my short list of four for my YouTube poll would consist of loudspeakers and amplifiers. And I already had my loudspeakers and I had a vintage looking one and a Futurefy looking one. So I now I needed amplifiers that kind of mirrored that dichotomy. Now, in trying to find a vintage styled amplifier in 2022, a new model, I didn't have to look very far. I only had to go effectively down to my cellar for a product that we reviewed very recently, the NAD-C 3050LE. So this is a Class D hybrid digital amplifier with Dirac room correction and streaming and a phono input. But really it, its main selling point, I think, are its VU meters, which are part of this kind of broader restyling of this amplifier to look like an amplifier that NAD made back in the 70s called the 3030, which we also featured in our 3050LE video. So really, I couldn't not put that NAD in my short list of four as candidates for the best looking piece of hi-fi in 2022. So lastly, I needed an amplifier that really had both eyes set on the future or something very unusual. And I didn't have to really look all that far for that one either because I know, I keep it stored up here, that when I wrote about the announcement of the Hi-Fi Rose RA180 back in May, and I called it a totally bonkers looking amplifier, lots of people clicked on that news story. Lots of people were interested in what that amplifier looked like and why I called it totally bonkers. Look at the front panel. It's just an array of different styled switches, knobs and sliders. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. There's nothing else like it on the hi-fi market at the moment. There's certainly nothing else like it introduced in 2022. So I thought, yeah, that's my final one. That's the, that's the fourth of the four of the candidates that will go in my YouTube poll to ask you people, which of these four do you think is the best looking hi-fi product of this year? Oh, I think it's important to add that I've not yet had the hi-fi rows here to play with but I think I'm gonna get one next year. So a few weeks ago, I published this poll. I put the Mission, the KEF, the Hi-Fi Rose, the NAD, and asked you people to vote on it. 9.1 thousand or 9,100 people responded and gave their vote. Thank you to you people who did that. Now, before we get to the results, I actually thought that the Mission would romp home with this one, no problem, and maybe the NAD would come in second place because I realized that mid-century modern styled hi-fi gear is pretty damn popular these days. I think this trend in hi-fi will eventually kind of peak and then fade out, maybe in a couple of years, but right now it's pretty strong because the mid-century modern furniture revival is still going fairly strong. But I was wrong about the mission and I was wrong about the NAD. But I guess I wasn't surprised that the Hi-Fi Rose came in in fourth place with 14% of the total votes. Because then with 21% of the total votes was the Mission 770. I thought this would rank much higher, but clearly you people as a group of people, as a mass, so I guess we're talking really here about a collective opinion, don't think that the Mission 770 rate as highly as the NAD C 3050LE, which got 29% of all votes which leaves the KEF LS60 wireless as the overall winner with 37% of all votes. Now this shocked me because I didn't think that people would take to the, the slim front baffle of the LS60 wireless as they seem to have done. But I guess this is vindication for KEF who really 
built their entire speaker around that slimmer design because that's what their market research had told them that people wanted. And it looks like their market research was right. It seems to resonate with people as it does with this audience, you people, over on the community page of this channel. So according to you, the best looking hi-fi product of 2022 is the KEF LS60 wireless. Now, if you're about to take to the comment section to let off a good old grumble about how you can't believe that's the case and blah, 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 I'm kind of with you. I don't think the KEF LS60 wireless is the best looking product of 2022 for me, for my personal taste, just as you might not. But the lesson here, and the, I guess one of the major reasons I'm making this video is that we are not everybody. We as individuals are not everybody and we have to deal with the fact that on many, many occasions in life, the collective opinion differs from our own. Anyway, if you like this video, it was a bit of fun, please click the like button down below or consider clicking it. If you like my attitude to hi-fi gear, in that it includes the aesthetics of it, the look and the feel and the haptics, then please consider subscribing to this channel. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching.